All right, guys, uh, bite me short here again. Uh, this time, we're gonna talk about hulls, and this is something that a lot of people, uh, when they're shopping for a new boat, let's say they're a bay fisherman. A lot of us are bay fishermen. That's what we talk about a lot on the podcast. And they wanna know, uh, what should I be looking at uh, when I'm purchasing a boat when it comes to the hull so it runs better, it gets up, it turns, etc., etc. But we got the right guy here today, and that is my guy Chet Mormpudi uh, from Freedom Boats. Chet, uh, you have literally designed uh, boats for shallow water running uh, uh, fishing. Uh, let's talk about the hulls here and why these boats are particular. We're going to use the Freedom Warrior as an example first here, okay. and why it uh, why it runs so shallow and what makes the design. Uh, fit that yeah like uh, uh, any cat boat they all run shallow no matter what what brand is but but talking about the freedom boats this is like a true cat it has like two sponsors goes all the way from the front all the way to the back and then the way you see the tunnel the tunnel has those side sponsor walls and you got your roof of the tunnel and you got that so what it does when it runs it creates an air pocket underneath and shoots inside the tunnel and it compresses air yeah. and it makes like an air pocket and it runs on the water yeah. rather than cutting through the water. Yeah. So that's the main thing that will give you a smoother ride, zero drag and run shallow. Yeah. And then coming back to the back of the boat. So the cat tunnel is designed in such a way like a triangle. So what it does, it scoops water and feeds your lower unit. So when you're running skinny, the lower unit is above the bottom line of the boat. Yeah. So the water will still feed it and you don't overheat your engine. Yeah, so even in shallow water, you're still getting plenty of water yep. into the into the motor. Plenty of water. All right, now this boat right here will run uh, how, how shallow, this warrior? So this one runs uh, right around three, uh, three to four inches of water. That's crazy. Yeah. And uh, being able to get up, so if it floats, it gets on plane. So yeah. it floats in like an eight to nine inches and it gets on plane. Now, this is the 23 foot uh, Warrior. The new thing that you helped design uh, that you brought into the market is this gorgeous uh, 26 foot uh, Freedom General. And uh, this is a gorgeous boat. It's turning a lot of heads here, of course, at the Port O'Connor Fishing Show. You're telling me this actually runs skinnier? Yes. And why is so, that? And how is that? <laughs> So and have you patented the design yet? Yes, we are. <laughs> We're still talking to the lawyers. They're still in the process. And yes, so if you look at the tunnel, the cat between this and the water is exactly kind of a similar. So it still runs like an aid and trap tunnel. Yeah. But the biggest design change in this one is the sides. Yeah. We call this a sea chine on the sides. So yeah. what you know what the concave surface does is it scoots every water that you cut it scoops out, yeah. so it creates a more uplift. Yeah. So you run skinnier than the Warrior, and with the design, it's the driest boat like any other Freedom boat. Yeah, uh, and then the front is different as well. We'll go yes. around over here, and that's what caught my eye, uh, my amateur eye, uh, is, and, and the Warrior, which I've had, of course, uh, runs so great, run, turns so fast, and we're gonna get into the turns in just a second, but it has the little pointy, and I'll, I'll show it real quick. It's a little, it's slightly pointier, as you go down this uh, this part of the of the cat, yeah. the difference here these are flatter, and I'm guessing that gives them gives you something of a better ride as well. Yes. So what it does, it's all about channeling the air. Okay. So when the boat is running on the water against wind, it should stream the air. So on a 26, the more air you stream in, the smoother you're going to get. And yeah. So it, I'm not saying the water does not, but it is little different compared yeah. to the warrior. Yeah. Now, another thing that old time cat owners will tell you is, well, I can't really turn as well with it because it burps. In other words, the water, well, first I'll let you, the expert, explain it, what burping is and why these do not do that. So, so the cat boats, they design so many ways the tunnel. Some of them are like straight up and straight on the roof and some of them at an angle. So it's all about how much, how you can control the air inside the tunnel. Yeah. So if you cannot control the streamline of the air, it always burps. Yeah. So these, the way they're designed, they maintain the air pocket underneath the tunnel all the time. So that's yeah. the reason why these freedoms, they don't burp at all. And so you can turn? Turn on a dime. Turn on a dime. Well, all right, the more you know, right? Uh, this is uh, a bit of very informative, uh, very informative Bite Me Short. Don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel here, and don't forget to subscribe to the podcast wherever you get your podcasts.